Howdy folks, it's the Tall Turtle here. Welcome back to Microsoft Fight Simulator 2020 and I finally have a timely video for you. The USA update just dropped. I just updated and there is a new discovery flight, a new weekly activity even though they're not weekly. <laughs> and I'm talking about this cell right here. This is your activity cell and um, it's new every time there's an update. Not hot fixes, but well, sometimes. But anyway, this gets updated frequently, so I always check this cell. Today, at the time of this recording, when this was just dropped, oh my gosh, my child. I have a 12 year old who learned today how exciting it is to be caught up on schoolwork instead of behind. And he is so excited, he's celebrating and rewarding himself with doing TikTok dances because he's caught up with schoolwork instead of behind east coast usa discovery flight new york steward international to reagan national into the grand caravan which we'll talk about more in a moment is this going to load there it is all right this is the event oh this is washington cc oh i have so many stories okay there's gonna be a lot of story time in this video again those of you who are new here because of this flight i tell stories a lot that's kind of what we do here on this channel is i fly stuff i do tutorials sometimes blah 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 but mainly i just fly in fact, mainly 99.9% .9 of the time, it's GA VFR stuff. And um, I do a lot of story time stuff. And people keep asking for more, so I keep giving them more. So that's obviously the National Mall. There's the National Monument and all the museums, Smithsonian, all the things like that. Well, White House is over here somewhere. <laughs> you can't see it. Anyway, oh my gosh, it's Pentagon. Ah, yep, yep, yep. I have some stories about this stuff. Anyway, we'll get there. Event. Take a flight and discover the American Northeast from New York State to Washington, D.C. De departing New York Stewart International Airport, fly down the Hudson River. Everybody knows where the Hudson is now. Past the Statue of Liberty and the famous skyline of New York City. Then dash a short distance to Trenton, New Jersey, site of George Washington's first military, military victory. Pick up the Delaware River heading toward the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. And then continue into the heart of the mid-Atlantic region to find Wilmington, Delaware, and the Brandywine Valley. From there it's on to Baltimore, Maryland, and the Bastion Fort. I think of Minecraft because of the new Bastions in Minecraft. The Bastion Fort that inspired America's anthem, the Star Spangled Banner before ultimately soaring past the stately monuments of the U.S. Capitol and arriving at Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. Hour and 23 minutes, which means it's going to take me like over two and a half or three because I'm going to have to pause for things to help my family and kids. Then I'll edit it down. I don't know what the final time is on this video. Hopefully under an hour, but whatever. 244 nautical miles in the Cessna Grand Caravan, which we'll talk about that too. Okie dokie, without further ado, let's get rolling. All right, here's our cutscene. I usually skip this part, but why not show for a little bit? Oh, and there's another TikTok dance going on upstairs. Oh boy, I better get my controls ready here. Or else once we get in, it'll kill the engine. All right, here we go. Everything should be working. Okay, just slow to respond. Let's see, how does this work? You simply just set autopilot, follow it along, and um, enjoy yourself. So we're not even going to do ATC or anything. Oh, uh, hang on, one thing we want to do. We want to set that to FMS. already is. Oh my gosh, this is already set up. Except I like my winds. I love having my winds on. Um, yeah, turn that thing off. Okay. Yeah, let's do time, just because I want to see how long this takes us. And start. And there we go. Good. All right, I'm going to totally forget to look at that, but we'll keep it up anyway. Okay, that's all we're going to do. Um, no ATC, we're just going to rock and roll. I do have any options for this. Um, a few things. Alrighty, here we go. Let's just take off and let's do some sightseeing. Like I said, start up and all that stuff in a future video. And my rudder pedals aren't working. I have to reset them. It's an issue I have. I'll discuss in a second once I reset them. And resetting my rudder pedals killed everything. So now I have to remember how to start this. I've only started it once. Let's see here. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. There's a starter button somewhere over here. So yeah, my computer. So my computer makes me reset my rudder pedals from time to time. It has nothing to do with the sim. has nothing to do with the brand 
of pedals. It's just something that my computer hates because it's happened with all brands and all Sims too, not just this one. And we're off and everything's working. My pedal's working, everything's working. Okay, so like usual, an awkward start, but we'll get in the air here and then we're going to just sightsee. Right now we're just going to sightsee, take off, look at the sights, use autopilot so we can sightsee without crashing, and then we can use the drone that way. Alrighty, gear is fixed on this, I believe. Of course it is. Flaps coming in and bringing back our throttle. So we're out of the red there, and then we'll get to sightseeing here. There we go. Let's look at the airport super fast. Look how gorgeous this is. In fact, that is a screenshot right there. Alright, let's have a quick look. And then we'll get autopilot going so we can do some real sightseeing. And not miss a thing. Okay, looks like we're going to use ATC. We are going to use ATC. Alrighty, what do we want to do for altitude? What? Whoa, that's not my thing. I need, hang on a second here. I need a good preset for autopilot. I'll worry about that later. Keep an eye on my attitude. Keep an eye on the mountains up there. And what do we want? Should we go... Let's go 2500 until we clear this first mountain range. And then after that, we should be good to go. We want to use uh, Flight Director. We want to use Nav. We want to use Autopilot. And we want to do vertical speed. We want to go up about 800 feet per minute. Really? Why is it pointing us to the ground? Is it working? It's working now. It's going to try to, okay, that's a little too steep apparently. Let's do an 800 foot per minute rise. We're almost there anyway. And it's going to follow the track. Or is it? Is it going to turn us back? There it goes. Touchy, 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 cranky autopilot, I tell ya. Cranky autopilot. There we go. We'll clear this mountain range and we'll come down so we can sightsee. Good grief. That was not as smooth as it could have been. Alrighty, let's hop outside, do some sightseeing. And then we will talk about things as they come up and sightsee as they come up. Just gorgeous. I have full settings. Everything is maxed up. And then I have satellite imagery on. And um, yeah, that's simple as that. Everything's maxed out. What am I running for hardware? It's like a three-year-old computer. It's like an i7. Is it an 8700? I don't know. Stock, fan-cooled. I got a 2080, not a 2080 Ti. I've got 32 gigs of RAM. Running on an SSD. Nothing crazy. And I'm getting, where am I getting frames? We're getting 46, 48. We rarely drop below 40 with everything maxed out. 1440p resolution. So, there you go. Alrighty, a few things to say before we just go on to a sightseeing trip here. Um, I love this plane. Well, I'm getting used to this version. In FSX, this is my favorite plane. Why is it not... Why did it not capture 3200? <laughs> you... It says all for crying out loud. Let's do this. Let's... Go. Let's just hit that. Let's just do alt now. And just capture 4000, I guess. This is crazy. Why won't this cooperate? I use autopilot on all the aircraft. And it's similar on all the aircraft. It's not hard. But for some reason, it just isn't cooperating. Normally you just do vertical speed. That's it. You just do vertical speed. And it'll go up and down and it'll level off when you get to your just, you know, predetermined altitude. Oh boy, in this case, okay, what's going to happen now? Is it going to capture 26? No, it's not. Is it going to capture it now? Now that I hit VNAV, I've never needed to hit VNAV in any airplane. But apparently in this one you do. But now it's going to capture ALT. Okay, whatever. That took 15 minutes of screwing around. We're missing stuff. Alrighty, where were we? I don't know where we were. Oh, I was going to talk about this airplane. So, um, in FSX I loved this plane. It was my favorite one. I'm still getting used to it in the simulator. Of course, you know. 15, 12 years later, whatever. 
and it's gonna oscillate but so far so good so far I'm enjoying it all right so now that I think I have everything under control let's hop outside with the drone here let's make sure we're not going over speed there we go as long as you do an autopilot you can use the drone if you're not using autopilot and you try to use the drone you're playing you don't have any control of your plane at that point and you'll crash so I have my drone controls on my yoke. So when I go into drone mode, I'm actually using my yoke to fly the drone, including using rudder pedals. So anyway, oh, wasn't that gorgeous? Just looking around, trusting that autopilot is going to work and do everything for us. And um, this is so crazy awesome. Ah, nice river view. Look at that. Anyway, so all I was gonna say about the caravan. In FSX I loved it. In this sim I'm getting used to it. And we will um see how much I use it. It's nice and quick. It has some good speed to it. And you can carry some passengers, right? If you go like this, you can look behind you. So I like it. And it's a turbo prop and you have reversers and things. So I like it a lot. Um, oh, there's not much for me to say yet. I do have some stories once we get to the mall. So I'm just going to leave you with some sightseeing. And I'm going to try to figure out if I can get this autopilot to work the way I want it to. Or something. Because I don't trust it. I'll catch you a little bit. All right, I'm stepping us down to 2,000 feet, and um, vertical speed also works just fine when I use the VNAV button. So I am learning things over and over again. We're only 16 minutes into the flight. Um, I guess I call this the New York Scenic Corridor, which doesn't seem to have too much happening. Although it's pretty scenic, so let's hop outside. There we go. Now there's some stuff to look at. Here we go. New York City is coming into view. Finally. I shouldn't say finally, but it's coming into view. So let's reset the drone. Let's back up a little bit. And come up. There we go. New York City, dead center of your screen. New Jersey. Straight ahead off to the right. And um, we've done a fair amount of New York City flights in this sim as well as x-plane i'm just looking around looking at all the details appreciating everything just gorgeous now you can fly this in real life if you check out aviation 101's channel he just did this it's very busy you're constantly putting out landmarks and your direction determines where you fly and how high and low but we're just going to stay at our 2000 feet i can't remember if this direction is 1500 or 2000, I can't remember, but we're going to say 2000 feet as we fly the corridor. This is something you would do in real life, by the way. What I'm looking at are the cars driving along the roads that are covered by trees. Oh my gosh, look how authentic that is. Well, like a car will just pass through right there in a moment. There we go. See that? Over there too? Wow. I spend more time looking around than flying, but hey, to me, that's the point of this. Look at this. That is more exciting for me to see, Divided Highway, than um, some buildings sometimes. <laughs> Just check this out. Oh, my 12-year-old is yelling something <laughs> anyway. Here we go, building the sunrise, because this would be east over here. Rises in the east. Looking out onto Long Island over there. There's a Freedom Tower in the center of your screen. Wow. 
Let's reset the drone. And let's quickly look this way. Back up a little bit. Let's look this way. Give some love to this side of the area. Whoa. I think they're loaded in for us here. Our frames are still pretty good though, right? Yeah, 32. Ooh. Ooh. I've never dipped down that low before. This is awesome. I'm pushing this thing. 30, 30 for the most part. You want to say between 25 and 35 for your frames, by the way. If you have fewer than 25, you need to make changes. If you have more than 35, you start maxing things out. But they're now are smooth. Okay, we're just loading stuff, I think. Where are we at now? 28, 30, 31. That's in that perfect sweet spot. Look at this. Oh, and there's some more yelling. Alrighty, there we go. I should know the names of these bridges, and if I weren't recording the video and listening to my kids scream, I would totally know the name of everything you see. But under the pressure, I'm trying to blink. Hey, who's screaming back there? How are y'all supposed to hear me blab for an hour if someone's yelling and screaming? Jeez Louise. Alrighty, so here's the deal. Do you want to view all this from inside the airplane? Or do you want to view it all from outside of the airplane? It's kind of challenging to decide because inside is more immersive, right? But outside, it's gorgeous too. Man, oh man. Anyway, there's Central Park. And we will, at some point, do a detailed New York City VFR. I was just waiting for the United States update, which landed today probably yesterday for you but landed today so we will go back now that it's done and we will um have a detailed look at from new york city Alrighty, let's come down a little bit more just because we can let's bring this down to uh, should we go 1500 and we'll do vertical speed down 300 feet per minute watch an eye on our speed and get a little bit lower as we can look out so Let's see, any points of interest here? We got Statue of Liberty coming up. Anything else coming up? Um, New York Bay. Alrighty, and the Governor's Island and Staten Island and everything. Alrighty, so I'm going to be quiet for a little bit, rest my voice, as we fly over Manhattan and Staten Island. And I'll catch you in a little bit. Yes, I know that was a really quick, um, a really quick flyby. New York City, Manhattan, etc., etc. But we do have 244 nautical miles to cover, and we will come back to this area in great detail, both daytime, nighttime, during storms, everything. So we will be coming back here, so watch for a future video of that. And let's see, New York Bay is coming up, and then what else do we have coming up here? Uh, we'll find out when we get there, I guess. No, Philadelphia, Trenton, Delaware River. Very nice. All right, so let's see. Do I have any New York City stories to share while we look at the rest of this gorgeous scenery? Not the rest, but if we look at some more gorgeous scenery here. Um, yeah, my wife and I went there 
Oh gosh, it's been many years ago now. Ten years ago now? Maybe even more. And we were there for a friend's wedding. We were only there for two days. Uh, I guess, well, two full days and a partial day. And um, we were there for a friend's wedding. A friend who was part of the SNL scene. So I got to see some SNL people. That was kind of strange and awesome at the same time. At this like regular wedding, these people who were from Minnesota who now live in New York, no famous people, it's very strange. But anyway, it was overwhelming. So we were there for a wedding, and then we had a free day, or part of a free day. So my wife and I you know, went around the subway system in Manhattan and things, and we ended up at top of the Empire State Building at right before they closed. So 1 a.m., midnight, something like that. There were a couple of people there. It was really awesome. Um, I was petrified. It was one of the only times I couldn't, like, go out in the, of the observation deck of a tall building. So I felt kind of silly about that. It was the only time I've been able to do it was that building. But anyway, um, we were there for a while. We ended up in Central Central Park. We ended up in Times Square at 2 a.m. February, early February, their coldest day of the year, coldest winter they've ever had or something like that too. And we're the only people there except us and a bunch of cops. Just us and like 50 cops. Times Square, 2 a.m. It was awesome. Super awesome. Um, we stuck out like sore thumbs because we weren't cold. We were in Minnesota. So that's kind of cool. So anyway, that is a very, very brief New York City story. Again, those of you who are regulars here know that we often have story time. Most of the time we fly. So that was a quick one. Anyway, Staten Island, of course, we actually took the ferry out to the island and then we were going to ride the subway. Um, but there's only one train running or something strange is broken so it would have been like a 45 minute ride just to get anywhere on Staten Island so we just ended up going back to the mainland the mainland to Manhattan and back to our hotel which was in Brooklyn and I think my favorite borough by far was Brooklyn absolutely to me when I think of New York City living and then I saw it in person it was definitely Brooklyn for me so anyway, I have no desire to be back. I am not a big city fan. I've been to Chicago millions of times. I've been to LA. I've been to New York City. I'm done with um, big cities. I'm not, a, I don't get excited about them anymore. So anyway, there we go. We're just looking around, trying to enjoy things as I speak here. Um, this is the Big Bay. That's actually closer to the plane. It looks better. And we're going to head in this direction now towards Trenton, I think it said, if we hop inside. Yeah, we're coming up on Trenton. See how it's off? Because when you're in drone mode, the airplane does its own weird, crazy thing. So you can't be in drone mode very long. All right, let's get some juices flowing here and speed up a little bit. Well, not quite that much. All right, let's see here. Um, Trenton and then what? What's coming up next here? Trenton's way down there. Alrighty, so I'm going to be quiet a little bit and give you some more sightseeing, and then we'll keep yapping as we get closer here to the Trenton point of interest. Oh, props are getting kind of high. Let's bring props back out of the red. Come on. There we go. Alrighty, I'll see you in a little bit.
Uh, we we're not anywhere near to the Trenton um, waypoint yet, but I just want to have a look around everybody. We're managing the systems, everything is holding at 1,500 feet. We might have to climb a little bit, but I want to be nice and low to see too. So let's hop outside in drone view, and I just wanted to look around with everybody. Um, just check out the scenery and how amazing and gorgeous this is. Look at all those swimming pools down there. And again, you're getting that like flickery, flashy thing, but we're in the 30 frames per second. High 30s, so 40 even. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but anyway, let's just enjoy it. Wow, everybody has a pool. Everybody has a pool. Crazy. There's looking back. Mostly east towards the bay. Look at that. Wow. I can just stare and look around. Now, if that isn't suburbia, if that does not scream suburbia, I don't know what does. You got curvy roads. How does that all look the same? That is suburbia. Look at that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them just saying suburbia versus urban, where it's like a grid system and every house is different, you know? But that's suburbia for sure. There's like a trail there across the lake. And um, some parks, a school probably, more suburbia, industrial area for sure. Holy cow, let's back up a little bit from the plane, there we go. Whoa, look at all this industry. Wowzers. Golf course, right in the middle. Well, it looks like multi-unit living, it's run by a golf course. Jeez. We might climb a little bit just because the satellite imagery looks a little bit better when you're a little higher, but... Well, guys, we are just looking over New Jersey. Um, I don't know a lot about New Jersey. Other than you can see over the entire state at cruising altitude when you're higher up. Oh, another little school down there. Or maybe that's an apartment. There's a swimming pool. There's an interstate for ya. Holy moly, rock and roll. Look at the solar panels on the buildings. And I've got my TikTok dancers upstairs. Race track. Very cool, but let's hop inside and see what's going on. See, coming out of drone view, camera is weird. Oh, let's see here. Well, that's a cool looking shot, though. I think it looks, it's definitely way more immersive to be checking out the scenery from inside the plane. But at the same time, it's nice to look around, too. Alrighty, let's see where we at. We got a little bit more to get to the next waypoint, and then we're gonna head over to Philadelphia. So, um, a little bit more sightseeing, and I'll start chatting at you again once we get a little closer. And there is Trenton, New Jersey, right on the border of Pennsylvania. And, um, there you go. I've never been here, other than right now in the simulator. Never been there in real life, obviously, but it's looking good. I increased our altitude 900 feet, just so that the scenery will look a little bit better. Um, and I'm glad I did, because it looks way better from another grand up above. Look at that. That is awesome. I really wish I could slow down my hat switch. Look at that. Let's look out the other side. Anything there? Oh, yeah. And there you go. Crossing into Pennsylvania. And, um, and that's why the next waypoint or the next interest is Philly. Look at that. Can we look out this window quickly before everything goes by? Can we move over? Move down? I had to redo all my camera controls, by the way, with this latest update. It screwed up all my cameras. And reassign everything. There you go, Trenton, Trenton, New Jersey. All right, what is next? Next, how come that didn't catch? 
Probably because I was doing drone view for so long. Oh, that's because we're between waypoints. That was just an interest. Okay, I gotcha. Philadelphia is next, right up there. And um, it's not that far away, it's only 17 miles. So I think I will give you a view of us leaving Trenton, and I will see you again in just a moment. Actually, I'm checking everything, got tons of fuel. And everything is maxed out as fast as we dare go. We're at 2400. Yeah, we're good. Alright, see you in a bit. And just like that, we're on the outskirts of Philly. There is the skyline right in front of us. I think this is going to bring us right over downtown, right along the river. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty cool view. And then, um, then we'll go down the Delaware River, then toward Wilmington and Washington, etc., etc. But Philadelphia is next. And a nice view of the skyline. Just looking around, enjoying the scenery. It's, um... Not monotonous, but a lot of the same type of thing, right? It's all flat. <laughs> and a lot of buildings, a lot of suburbia. However, this part of the country is much, much older than where I live in Minneapolis, of course. So if we were to go way down to the ground and go super slowly in like an Icon 85 or something and trust the satellite imagery, it would probably look very different from town to town. But from up high... Kind of a lot of the same stuff. A lot of flat land other than the mountains in the beginning. A lot of airports that are pretty close together, I've noticed. But it is really cool to stare out the window and just look at, like, the way the cities are laid out. Like, for example, this is more of a grid system, right? It's not suburbia. So, town along the river, but we're getting farther from the ocean. So the houses are a little bit smaller, fewer swimming pools than in the wealthier areas by the ocean. Any swimming pools down there? And that's like apartment stuff. Oh, well, there's a couple swimming pools in that neighborhood. Kind of fun. We don't want to miss looking at the skyline. Um, I still need to check some systems things though, make sure everything is okay, and it is. Good, good, good. Alright, let's see. Let's keep out looking out here. Look how nice that is. And again, I have no mods in my simulator. I want to try to run this mod free as long as possible, just because I spent so much time 
getting mods to work and using mods and everything for X-Plane, it'd be nice just to see how long I could run this in without mods. So what you're seeing is all 100% default everything. Everything's default, and for now, everything will always be default, but never say never, I guess. But, um, look at that. Philly. I don't know anything about Philadelphia except Boys to Men. Motown Philly. Back again. Something like that, right? From the 90s. Another airport. Lots of airports around here everywhere you look. So just think. It looks so quick here, but... That'd be a very, very, very long walk. It'd be a decent bike ride. It'd still be quite a drive, too. Looks like they got their sports stadiums all out here in the same area. I think Cincinnati used to be known for that, too. Having all of its major league stadiums in the same area. I don't know if that's currently true, but it was 20 years ago. Airport. Oh, are we turning? Looks like we're going to turn. Yep, we're going to make a turn um, towards... What was the next thing I forgot already? Wilmington, Wilmington, Delaware. So we'll be heading there next. 18 nautical miles. Alrighty, I will leave you with some sightseeing leaving Philadelphia and then heading towards Wilmington. We'll see you in a moment. How's everybody doing back there? I heard somebody said they needed to use the restroom. Well, you gotta hold it. You should have gone before we started. Anyway, it was nice seeing that skyline back there in Delaware. You can see a long time in Delaware. In Philadelphia, you can see it for a long ways. We could still see it way out here. Ooh, flight time's been an hour and three minutes so far. And we're almost to Wilmington. And then what comes up next here? What is next? Big Elk Creek. And then some fun stuff. And then our destination after the capital. So let's zoom back in this way. There we go. Coming up on Wilmington, Delaware. And getting ready for Big Elk Creek. So let's have a look. And there's a Wilmington, Delaware right in front of us. So very cool. I don't have any story time about Wilmington. Sorry. Um, most, most of my stories are New York and a little bit of Washington, which I'll say as we get closer to Washington. Otherwise, mostly just a sightseeing trip. That's what it's supposed to be anyway. It's like a VFR type thing, you know. Cross-country VFR. And it is so gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. Look at the reflections of the trees in the water. Jeez, I love the haze off on the horizon. And look at all that green. Wow, this is a great altitude, too. Everything over here to look at. 
Oh yeah, there's a park down there. Some other things going on. There are bridges. Uh, the bridge rendering is kind of weird. Where it's like a solid object, but maybe they'll fix that sometime. But look at that. So much to stare at. Hello, Wilmington. How are you? Anything of interest other than the city down there? Nope. All right. Let's see. I guess since it's a VFR trip and I don't have anything else to say, and you don't have to listen to me talk all the time, I'll just leave you some sightseeing, and I'll catch you when we get closer to what is this big Elk Creek, it says. See you then. Alright, we're coming up on Big Elk Creek, which is after the water starts, halfway between there and there. So right in here. And um, we'll have a good look at that when we get there. Let's see what's coming up next. We have, let's go the right way for crying out loud. Chesapeake Bay, super famous. And then Fort McHenry and Eyes, it says. That's just a waypoint, but... Um, We'll get there. For those of you not from the United States, all of these waypoints, the five letter ones, actually mean stuff to the locals. Um, it's just a neat little thing that the United States has. Alright, Big Elk Creek, Chesapeake Bay coming up. Let's see, do I know anything about the areas that I can talk about? Nothing out of the ordinary anyway. Oh, looks like we're missing some good stuff here. Oh, look at that. We are just high enough, or just low enough, I should say, that we can still see the cars driving down the road, driving down the highway. We could go outside and look around, though. It's been a while. Let's reset that. Step back a little bit, step up a little. There we go. Yeah, looking good. Fabulous. One thing that I do find somewhat amusing, though, is, you know, with the age of the internet and everything, I have a lot of international friends who I have real relationships with, that type of thing. And it amuses me how a lot of people who have never been to the United States or are planning to come to the United States think a few things. They either think the entire United States is like New York and LA, like from coast to coast, just solid, big city people, big city, everything from coast to coast. Other people think the United States is, New York is huge, LA is huge, and it's the Wild West in between. Cowboys, horses, people shooting off their guns, plain deserts, boring grassland areas, and just two cities, New York and LA. Nothing in between. Um, I can kind of see how they get that, especially if they look at the pol political map, red and blue, where things are, but um, it's not. <laughs> Minneapolis is a decent size. Chicago's pretty big, of course. Atlanta's pretty big. Um, even Madison, Wisconsin is not a, not that tiny. 
But then, yeah, you can drive hours and hours between big cities where you would have gone across entire countries in Europe. I get that, but it's not just New York and it's not just LA. Those are just little pinpricks on a map. There's a lot in between and a lot of different things in between. Um, I like when Europeans come to like Minneapolis for whatever reason and they're like, this is not what I expected. I'm like, nope. <laughs> You have to be here to experience it. And the reason I bring that up is because as I fly over this area, and I know these areas, I'm like, how would I explain all these areas to people, right? Like, you know, we went down the Hudson Channel, and then we went over New York City, which is exciting. It was very exciting to see, but it was just a little, like, what, less than 1% of this whole trip, right? And now we had all that urban stuff over there and suburban stuff, and now we have these vast forests and things right I mean of course he would but we do and then if he kept going beyond where this trip will take us he get into the mountains and then there's Appalachian Mountains the Blue Ridge Mountains the Smoky Mountains all these different chains that kind of run together and have multiple names depending where you are and, um, it's absolutely enormous it's basically like a dozen countries wrapped up into one landscape geography politically um dem dem demographically demographically yeah I mean, it's like 12 different countries all wrapped up in one you have the religious areas you have the less religious areas you have the political areas you have the areas that don't care about politics you have places where you have large families places where people don't want kids you've got people who are young and rich old and poor people kids leave right at 18 kids never leave the house you know it's like all these different cultures, all within the United States. And just this little trip has really led me to remember that kind of stuff, right? Because of um, all the differences just in this little tiny trip here that we've taken. So anyway, this is my monologue for this area. Let's reset the drone and hop inside and see where we're at. Let's go now. We're still moving at a pretty good clip. Chesapeake Bay is coming up next, and then what do we have after that? McHenry, Baltimore, and then um, eventually we'll get to the capital of the United States, Washington, D.C., and the Reagan Airport is very close to there, pretty close to the mall, so we'll be landing there. I've actually taken off and landed there a few times in maybe X-Plane when I was doing YouTube, I can't remember. I've done so much flights and before YouTube, I can't remember everything I've done. But um, we've been there before. I'm very excited to see what the mall looks like. We'll have to slow way down too so we can see the mall and prepare for landing. And then, of course, if you like, we can always take the Icon A5 or 152 back out to certain areas, of course. Um, but this is just a cross country trip, getting a taste of things like New York City. We just flew by where I plan on doing a long, detailed flight there eventually. Alrighty, Chesapeake Bay, super famous, of course, you can Google all these places if you want to learn more. I'm not going to give a history lesson right now. Um, I'm losing my voice as it is. But anyway, Chesapeake Bay, we're kind of flying over it right now. It's this whole area. So, I need to quiet my mouth because I'm losing my voice. And um, I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, and here is Chesapeake Bay. We're going around the waypoint right now, or just about to. So, um, Fort McHenry, Baltimore's coming up next. And then we'll be heading towards the mall pretty soon after that. Um, but anyway, there is the bay. And let's keep on trucking, keep on planing. Planing, trucking, moving, flying. Hmm. Let's just keep on doing whatever it is that we're doing.
And there's the Baltimore area skyline coming into view. As well as the surrounding areas. Look at that. Gorgeous. We'll let that render in a minute while we take a peek out of the windows. And check out the surrounding area. Got some good sized bridges going on. Ooh, look at that development, or not development, but that community down there. That must be amazing. Everybody has pools. And it's on water. It must be very, very expensive. Then they have different development right next to it. That's kind of cool. Very stark differences. Wow. Alrighty, let's see what we got going on here. Coming up on Baltimore, the Washington DC is right next to it. More or less. So let's zoom out a little bit. Yep. Um, yeah, not much further after this. And then we'll have to look around Washington DC and then come in for a landing as well. We'll have to figure that out. We'll have to see what um, ATC wants to do with us. It'll probably be fly straight in if we don't look around. What do y'all think? Oh, oh, you don't have to go to the bathroom anymore. I don't want to know how you fix that issue. We'll just look out the window and pretend they didn't say that. Train line. Look at that. That is so incredible. Oh, stuff popping in still. It's still rendering. It's still trying to catch up with us. Just gorgeous. Was that eyes and then um looks like some more POIs are popping in here and then we'll be at our destination so there's gonna be a ton to see in this little area right here but because we're flying a plane and we need to land for the activity we're just gonna land the plane and then maybe come back at another time and do some more details I've said several times now this is just like the act you know this is the activity they provided and we're just kind of flying around in the activity and then if we want to come back and look at more detail we can plenty of POIs to look like and look at in the United States but this gorgeous I wanted it to leave oh there's the shadow of us look at that I wanted to leave all of the flight in so you can see all 244 nautical miles of it but I don't know that's kind of a bit much so we're just giving the sightseeing highlights here like usual oh look at that areas probably gigantic farms that now have houses on them i would imagine huh, very interesting so what are we going to do we're make it going to come up here to eyes and make a turn to the left and where's that going to put us over there right leave um, washington is over here all right looks like we're making our slow turn towards our final destination here. Yep. Headed to Edward. Four and a half miles. And then we'll see the river, and then we'll come in, and then we will tune ATC. We're going to tune ATC. Um, I guess we could get that airport ready to go. I forgot what it was. There it is. Number five. Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. Number five. Let's tune in the tower. And request full stop landing. And how far are we? Washington Tower Cessna Only 14 Alpha miles. It's going Gulf fast. Is one four miles it's going really with the fast. Cessna Alpha Sierra is one four miles north. 
Uh, Let's drain in. Room 19. I assumed that's what it was going to be. Ooh, 10 knots. Ooh. Crossword from the right. Ooh. Big crossword from the right. Oof -da. That's okay. Straight and landing, that's what they want us to do. I'm assuming the altitude is close to sea level. And um, so we'll just prepare for that. So we'll start coming down here pretty soon. And it should turn us more to the left here because we're supposed to be going down that river. See? So I have to see how this goes. If it turns us, is it going to give up? Don't give up. <laughs> Sometimes it gives up at the worst times. Is it going to turn us? Come on. I think it broke. Oh, now we're turning. That made me nervous. Okay. Don't scare me like that, simulator. Jeez. Good. Okay. There we go. We're going to make our turn towards the mall, towards the airport. Yeah, see, we were off. I thought we were off a little bit. Goodness gracious. Come on, what do we got here? Yep, down the river. And a little S curve. And we'll be there. a lot of interesting things and I see our destination so let's bring back throttles and slow this thing down and we should hand fly it in at this point but I don't want to so we're just gonna bring um I can't see that far away we'll just bring this down um quite a bit all on its own here well we don't want to be at flap speed quite yet but there's our destination and to the left is the mall you see the what, uh, Washington Monument. Are we clear to land? We are clear to land. Mm -hmm. Acknowledge. So okay, there's the mall there. We're going to fly right by it. And let's zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on here. See how that works. Alrighty. Flying straight into there. Just like that. We'll let autopilot. Well, no, it's time to kill autopilot, isn't it? Yep. Alrighty. Here we go, gear's already down. And um, there's a mall on the left. Do you see it? So there's Washington Monument and then the mall along there. Um, I was gonna say a story about the Smithsonian. That wasn't gonna be my big Washington story, but I probably shouldn't, just for someone's privacy. Um, oh my, look at the tall buildings here. Isn't that cool? So again, we're not going to do a sightseeing tour of Washington, D.C. today. That will be a future video. But there it is, and we're flying right over the Pentagon. How exciting is that? All right, well, let's get over here. Anything we're missing? Yeah, a bunch of stuff, but that's okay. First set of flaps down. That'll cause us to float a little bit. It will slow us down, even though you're not supposed to use flaps to slow down. It will slow you down, though. And um, three sets of flaps in this. I can't tell from that angle. Doesn't really matter. We don't need all of them anyway. Second set of flaps down. Come on. Stop floating on me. Let's get closer to the ground. There we go. Of course, I want to look out the window, but we all know what happens when we try to sightsee while we come in and approach. It doesn't go well. Right, let's keep that speed up a little bit. We're a little slow for this distance out. See that crossword from the right? Oh my, there's a crossword from the right. So Five if we hundred. wanted to do a crossword landing, we'd do right wing down, left rudder, land with a firm touchdown. You don't want to reach a crossword landing. Pretty dangerous, and that wind is really screwing with us, isn't it? Holy moly. Let's get down to the ground. 
Come on, here we go. Come on. Yes, we're high, because we're sightseeing. And on the runners, I'm ready to do this. And then we'll just float along the runway, and let ground effects save us a little bit here. Come on. Yeah, I know we're not doing the best approach, but we were sightseeing. We're really high. My problem is I never can tell how high we are. So I think we're about to touch down, and then we don't, and then we drop at the very end. So we go a little bit of a crosswind landing. There we go. And we can use reversers. I think this has reversers. Yep. And there we go. And we completed it. That's all you got to do. So there you go. Um, did they fix this? Well, I mean, it did our takeoff. And we did three landings today, huh? I don't think we landed three times today. We took off once, though. We didn't get to see, oh, what is our time, 144? Alrighty, and that's it. That is all there is to it. Normally I do an outro and look around, but this stops you. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, leave a comment so we can play the YouTube algorithm game. If you have a suggestion for a flight of your own, put it in the comments and I'll fly it. And I'll see you next time.